the jumper in here too, so that's good. Oh gosh. How about you, Hank? Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. I got Wiley with me today. What's up, buddy? Hey, good morning. Man, it's nice. It is. It's very nice. Uh, it's got a slight breeze, so if there's wind noise uh, on the microphones, y'all just have to deal with it because it's beautiful. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, we're out here at this old Cabelco excavator. Now, the last time me and you went to an excavator, we actually had a mechanic with us, and it didn't do all that great, right? The, uh, we oh, had, yeah. The, yeah. The one in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. My goodness, it's the worst one we've ever seen in our entire lives. There's actually an excavator behind us. You know, you can't see it, but we're fixing to dig it out and, and try to get this thing cranked up. I don't know what's in a Cabelco. I probably need to watch some more Diesel Creek videos because he's got a Cabelco that he bought. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, we're going to figure out what's on this thing. We're going to get it cranked up and move it around. And, and I will tell you this, Wiley. Before we started filming, the owner came up and he was like, uh, Hey, I just killed a cotton mouth there Saturday, so y'all guys be careful. And I was like, oh. That's nice. <laughs> but luckily it's cold. Luckily it's chilly out. Yeah. And uh, if they strike, it'll be a slow strike. And with my cat-like reflexes, I'll be able to get out of there. Now you, not so much. <laughs> Oh, y'all say we dig into this thing and get it cranked up. I tell you what, Hank, those sure cans are nice. Aren't they? Man, they are nice. As a matter of fact, we use them every every day. I'll even if you if you're interested in a really good diesel can or a utility can, we keep water in that one. I'll put an Amazon link in the description below. Go get a sure can, man. I'm telling you, it'll save you back and it's very convenient. So let's put a battery on the old Dewalt. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get started on this thing. I wonder if he will. I wonder if he will just back in one pass. Let me go ask him. Hey, don't be so lazy. Let's let's chainsaw it. <laughs> no, we're gonna get a bush hog. You wanna just tell him now? Nah. Yeah, he can't get in there. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. About right. Maybe, maybe two feet. That's fine. I think, I, I don't think you can get in there, rest too big. That's all right, I appreciate it. Oh well, we tried. Maybe that scared all the Well, steps. that was a good strategy. <laughs> I know when it started, that clang and hit it, it scared me away. Yeah. That old rubber tire here. Yeah, there's just all kind of stuff in here. Welcome to the jungle. Yeah, no kidding. Who sings that? Well, GNR. Who? Guns N' Roses. Yeah, I'm on GNR. I don't talk to you. Hey. 
Snakes and uh, snakes and wasp, Wally. You see any? No. Okay. Not yet. What's the secret signal if you do? <laughs> Perfect nougat. <laughs> I think we'll be all right. Good. Yeah. Once we get up there, I think we'll be all right. I do too. Man, this is some thick stuff. All right. Got a place to put our uh, tools and stuff. Okay. Here, snakey, snakey, snakey. We're following our fearless leader. <laughs> That's right. All right, man, I didn't bring lobbers neither. I just brought a chainsaw. I thought it was different type of covered up, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right. It's, it's been uh, banged up a little bit, ain't it? Just a little bit. Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do, Wiley. Okay. Is, uh, I'll climb up there and rip all that off the top where we can see. I can get all that top. I think I can just rip off the top part with, okay. my, with my bare strength. And then uh, that should give us enough to work on. We won't need to get in the cab yet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, where are you at? I'm on. I think we're getting there, Wiley. All right. <laughs> so, Wiley, I ain't really figured out what it is yet. Uh, I'm sure we'll find a, a data plate here in a minute. <clears throat> It's, it's the right size. This uh, I don't either, but it's, it looks like the right size, like a 200, 210, whatever. Yeah. You know, in a John Deere. They actually, they actually make a. I think Cabelco makes a 160. But, okay. Yeah. So this might be a 160. We'll confirm that here in a minute. If if it is, that'll put it about 100 and. I think they run 115 horsepower, something like that. 110, 115 horse with a. Uh, uh, I don't know. What do you think this is? 35,000 pound machine, something like that, 40,000, somewhere around in there. Probably. Yeah. So we'll, we'll dig around. Now that we've got cleaned up a little bit, we'll open up the hatches and uh, see if we can see what the power plant is. And heck, man, we're going we're gonna to yeah. throw some voltage on it and get this sucker fired up. Is that the battery box? Yeah. All right, let's get the, uh, let's see if it's got batteries in it. Oh, hey, I, left, I left a fuel checker up there. <laughs> I know the guy sent us that. Yeah, the yardsticks. Yeah, but let's go old school today. Let's go old school. Heck, there's plenty to choose from, ain't there? Yeah. Oh, let's make sure there's no wasp in here oh, while. Yeah, good job. Good job. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> there ain't no, there's not any batteries either. Oh, okay. good. That's a good sign. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's, that's, that's actually good that there's no batteries in it, so we don't have to take none out. <laughs> oh, mercy. Yeah. All right. It's got the jump. They left the jumper in here too, so that's good. Easy cheese. Twenty-four volt. 
With that jumper, you say? Well, look, look and see what you think. Oh, yeah. No. Something. Oh, positive, negative? That's right. Yeah, yeah. That's what makes me think that. Yeah. Uh, use those clues, right? Yeah. Blue's clues. Yeah. <laughs> the holidays are just around the corner, and HelloFresh makes this busy time of year easier than ever. They have chef-crafted recipes and pre-portioned ingredients delivered right to your door so you can spend less time meal planning and prepping. Save money on dinner and splurge on holiday shopping. HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout. Need dinner in a hurry? HelloFresh quick and easy options like the 20 minute meal and easy cleanup recipes allow you to enjoy good times around the dinner table with loved ones and less time in the kitchen. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code HAMILTONVILLE70 for 70% off plus free shipping. Again, HelloFresh.com code HAMILTONVILLE70, you'll get 70% off plus free shipping. Hey Wiley, I, hey. These, these have this, it's called a grease bank on it right here. Yeah. Where all the grease fittings are right there, so you don't have to, you know. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that is nice. Check out the pumps in there. When's the last time the grease bank was open, can you tell? <laughs> I think they went bankrupt. <laughs> all right, can, uh, should we open up the gray hood or should we open up that side? I think the side only gives us like access the pumps. to- yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this, this, man, it's kind of just snapped at me. PPI was done on, uh, look at that lizard up there in the corner. Man. In 01. Oh, that reminds me, I think this has been set in, since um, uh, 05, I think is when they, when they parked it. So 17 years. Okay. Wow. So let me crawl up here and open up that gray light, gray, uh, gray hood. So while you're crawling, you want me to go get the batteries, don't you? <laughs> no, nah, I'll help you do that. No, nah, really. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. Is that what you're singing? All the doors open on this side. That opens up to the rad the radiator. Are there some type of is there a latch handle somewhere <coughs> on here? Or does it oh, oh I bet it maybe it oh here it is. No, but that's all right. Oh, maybe it opens that way. Yeah. All right. All right. It's got a Mitsubishi in it. Wiley? Where'd Wiley go? Whoo! So it's got an old Mitsubishi in it. One, two, three. Old four banger. Okay. Okay. I think we can deal with this. All right, let's see if this thing's got any water in it. Nope. The water is empty. Now we'll check for oil and all that other jazz. Oh, this thing's making all. Got that Dello in it. Maybe Dello will see one of these videos and sponsor us while. Yeah, it actually, actually looks way overfilled. I mean, way overfilled. All right. Wiley, this thing is way over full. So you're saying it's making oil? <laughs> this thing's making oil. Yeah. 
So, you know. That's not good. That's not good, is it? Uh-uh. It sets along that water's right on the bottom. Yeah. And it's got the oil. Yeah. It's not even milky looking, is it? No. No, it sure ain't. Okay, well, let me let me do this while before we start breaking out all the tools and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let me see if I can turn this fan. I wish you had done that before I told her them batteries. Up there. <laughs> okay, is there any way we can get to the oil plug and just kind of crack it? See if oh the yeah. Water comes out. Probably. Um, Should be down here, Hank. If you want to crawl down here with the beef. Well, I don't know. It looks. I don't know if you can access under it. You know? Or we could take this valve, uh, does it, this comes off too. We could take this top off, take the valve cover off, and that'll tell us. No. No, it won't, it won't tell us what's in the oil pan. Well, it'll tell us if the top's rusted. Uh, like the, the tell us it's got moisture, that it had moisture in it for sure. Yeah. I was just thinking it might be easier to take that valve cover off than drain that oil pan, because I don't, I don't think you can see. I can it's see it's under a, the bottom. It's got a belly pan under it. Does it have like an inspection plate that yes. you take off? Yes, a belly okay. pan. Yes. No, like a uh, inspection cover to, just for the drain plug. Probably. Yeah. I was going to let you get under. Yeah, I'll do that. No, really. No, you got under the satellite tower. <laughs> 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 but we can uh, we can take the rest of this cover off and take a take a look see at it. I put you a homemade creeper right there if you want to get down there and look real quick. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let me uh, let me put this up. Ain't got no nails in it, do you? Well, I, I turned them up. <laughs> or did I turn them down? I can't remember. Uh, I mean, it's got a pan. Let me see if I can get to it over here. Here's a nice, nice uh, cold up cotton mouth down here with me. How's it doing? He's doing pretty good. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, it's got four bolts that drop that belly pan. So it, it might be easier to come under here, Wally. Okay. Or, or whatever, it doesn't matter. All right. I can, I can get it from under there. Well, while you're going to unlock the toolbox, I'm gonna be inspecting. I, I can't believe that oil drain would be that hard to get to. All right. Because that's something that yeah. you shouldn't have to well, how often do you drain oil? Well, you shouldn't have to take off a belly pan to drain the oil. They should make it a little easier than, well, than that. You forgot engin engineers. All right, go ahead. But uh, yeah, true that, huh? What's Quebeco made? Uh, China, China? Uh, Japan, I'm sure. You know. Um, okay, I'll go get. I'll go start taking that off. But um, it's Quebeco America, Hank. Well, that don't mean it was made there. What? Hey, oh, you found a data plate? Yeah. What? What model is it? Uh, you think I can see that? No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to get our cameraman over on yeah. top of it. He's got eyes. Yeah. Oh boy, that stuff right there's a doozy, buddy. Reach, stretch. Uh, this ain't gonna work. <laughs> Let me see. The I can. Physics, the physics just didn't work out for me there. Let me see. I'll just go this way. It is a, oh yeah, it's a 160, a SK160 LC. An SK? Yeah, SK. I don't know what that stands for. And I can't, the manufacturing year is stamped out. Oh my goodness, look at Look here. at the tires. <laughs> <laughs> look at here, they have left a step. Oh man, yeah, that's nice. They knew us old folks was coming one day. Go! No, quit. <laughs> quit, that tickles. <laughs> Stop it. There's two of them, ain't they? There's two uh, steps in there, ain't they? Yeah, just go on. I'll get <laughs> Shut the cameras down. Quiet on the set. <laughs> Where's the gaffer at? <laughs> I might make it this time. Ooh, that's still a long step for an old man. Ow! 
so when you can't step. All right, Hank, I made it. All right. Oh, this thing's got a Mitsubishi in it, as you know. This thing's just got a little four-cylinder Mitsubishi. Can I borrow your O light? Yeah. It's like American Express, you never leave home. I never leave it. home without it. And you can save 10% with HF10 on Olight.com, by the way. The link's in the description. <laughs> I'm telling you, I love that thing, D. I'm telling you. Magnetic and rechargeable. You gave me one to use, Hank. Yes, I remember. I gave it to my son. Oh, he and he lost it. No. But that the 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 charger to the battery, I didn't know that that went with it. Oh, so he only used it once. <laughs> <laughs> but we got it fit work. We got it worked out. Yeah. Oh, cover me. I'm going in. I, I seriously am looking for snakes while I'm down here, though. Well, I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't see any. Oh. Put my gloves on for my sensitive hands. All right, let me throw a little bit of liquid, liquid wrench on them bad boys. Oh, where'd my straw go? Lost my straw. Oh, okay. Good thing I used that liquid wrench. Now this is gonna fall on my head. Gives the hornets a little time. You need to, me to get up under and help you hold it? Uh, no, it's not heavy at all, dude. Good. <laughs> uh, is this dirty? I see the oil plant, uh, oil drain. Okay. Did you got a hose on it or just? No, it's just got a, a okay. bolt. I would just loosen it? Yeah, sure. Okay. Hey, Wiley. Yes, sir. Let me go ahead and I, what I'll do is I'll just crack this thing open. Okay. And see. If any water leaks out, hopefully I don't actually pull the whole plug out. That would be a nightmare. Yes. <laughs> yes. Let's see what size. Let's see if I got the right size socket. Oh man, I gotta go back to the truck and get a bigger than a one inch. I got one in the truck though. I'll go get it. I happen to have it with me right here. Okay. Never. That's like my O light, you know. That's right. All right. Let me make sure I don't get soaking wet here. Maybe if I borrowed it somebody's man hands, I could get this done. <laughs> I don't know if I can get that with a crescent wrench or not, Wally. No, sir. Cordless crash wrench won't work. Hey, Hank, I'm back on ground zero now. <laughs> it took me 30 minutes, but I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> 
My word. Well, easier said than done, buddy. All right, what, uh... I think it's an inch and a sixteenth or inch and... Uh, probably inch and a sixteenth. And they would be where? I think it's in that five-gallon bucket. Bring me both of those. Bring them both of them, boss. Bring it, shake it a bus, boss. We did a Superliner video where we asked you to guess the name of that movie where he says, Shaking the Bush, boss, and sure enough, a bunch of you got it right. Cool Hand Luke. That's an awesome movie. That's it. The inch and 16th was it. Now, let's see my... Wiley. Hey. Guess what? <laughs> Water. Oh my gosh. Let me let me crack it open. Yeah. That water got in there. That exhaust system seemed like it was closed good. I guess 20 years of condensation. I don't know. Man, I mean, it's just. Yeah, it's just full of water, Wiley. That's pure water, dude. You know? I don't want to take that whole, I don't want to take the whole bolt off. Well, maybe I can. Who cares, huh? Look at that. There's the oil. Tell you what, you got a nice undercarriage down here. <laughs> <laughs> I like that undercarriage you got. <laughs> uh. All right, yeah, right, you good? No, I got it right there. Come on. So much easier, don't Boy, it? Don't it? Why is that not catching? There it goes. Well, I don't know, dude. Do you at least want to see if it bumps over? Sure. I got <laughs> I mean, I did the hard part. I brought the. <laughs> I did not get the uh, starter button. I got to go get the. Oh. The what? Universal battery clamps. Oh. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. You know, Hank, since we're this close, what, uh, how would you say the undercarriage is on this machine? Uh, yeah, you got to look at the rollers and one of the things that you look for on the undercarriage, from what I understand, is the sprockets. Like if they're like pointed sharp, yeah, that's not good. Right. Um, so I would looking at this one, I'd probably say it's probably 50%. Well, that roller right there is a uh, sprocket. It looks good. That looks really good. Yeah. It's and you can stick under here yeah. and you can't even tell it's been turned. It's like a new undercarriage uh, under it. Feel it? Oh yeah. You can feel these uh, yeah, pins that go in. Yeah. Yeah, sure enough. Yeah. So maybe 70%, yeah. 80%. Yeah. I'm not a, that's, that's really why I don't do a lot of construction stuff because I'm really not familiar with yeah. it. And this is the this is an important thing because I think oh, the yeah. undercarriage now costs up to twelve thousand right. dollars probably. I mean there's a lot of people that buy them and recently that knows but And the turntable is you know you gotta there's there are ways to check the turntable as well. Like like the um Prentice when you know how you look yeah. to see if it you let that boom down and right, you right. check the bearing turntable bearing. Right. 
But I'm going to say that like the rails, the rails look good on this. Right. Uh, the only reason I'm saying this, Hank, is this: if this machine starts or don't start, whatever right. runs, this machine's for sale, I believe. It is. Yeah. And if somebody's needing an undercarriage. Right. For 160. Or I think they're universal. I think this undercarriage oh. would probably do anything. Now the roller yeah. might, I mean the, the. Yeah, you're right. That might not. But yeah, I it's probably interchangeable for sure. Would work. Yeah. No, that's a good point. If you're interested in buying this machine, send me an email, hank at hamiltonvillefarm.com. I'll put that across the screen in a text, hank at hamiltonvillefarm.com. And uh, just send me a, I don't know how much he's asking for it, but it's a SK160, right? Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and so we'll get you in touch with the owner and see what he wants for it. And, uh, you know, We'll also see if the engine cranks up here in a minute, and that will be that will obviously reflect the price if we uh, if the motor's running on it or not. And we'll ask the owner when he did replace this undercarriage, and he'll probably say not long after I parked it. Because <laughs> it's true, that's that's a good undercarriage. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, it's been sitting since I think he said 17 years, something like that. That's a long if time. You put the camera right here. People could see. Kind of what I'm talking about. The sprockets. The sprockets. How round they are. And the, rail, the rails are not wore right here. Yeah. And I know you can't get under there where I can, but the pink, I don't. Even, it hasn't been turned. I don't think it's been turned. Yeah. I don't think. I think you're correct. Yeah. Cool. Oh well, let's see if we can't fire this beast up. Why? Let's see. You got a cane to help me get up? <laughs> <laughs> I'll go get the. We gotta get it cranked up so I can lift you off the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Wiley, is, let me ask you something. Okay. Is this going to be two in a row for us on excavators? Well, I don't know. We'll know here in just a minute. Yeah. Uh, I'd use this to prop it up with, I think. Or does it stay up? No, it don't stay up. No, I st I, I'd use this somehow or another. Cobble that together. Yeah, I mean. It's almost like a guillotine back in there. <laughs> A guillotine? Guillotine? How do you say it? You say guillotine? You know, I've seen some of those movies. They'd have to shoot me with arrow for they yeah. put me in there and cut my hair yeah. off. And the buttocks. Uh, I got a, you got a rope or something? Go to the top. Let me go get a uh, string of some sort. That's all right. Hey, we'll no, I'll get it. I don't want you to cut your head off. Be crying. Okay, Hank, we got it. You got it? Yeah. All right. I believe that vine grew since I've been here a negative to the rear. There you go. Let's uh, see our crescent wrench just for a minute. Our cordless. <laughs> our cordless crescent wrench. They don't, many people got cordless crescent uh -uh, wrench. No, really. not at all. It's really a uh, fine, fine piece of tool, tool that we have. Fine, fine tool we have. Hey, I don't know hey, what I'm trying to say. <laughs> hey, my girlfriend's birthday's coming up. I ordered her a solar uh, dryer, clothes dryer. <laughs> Oh, yeah? Yeah, I seen it on, online. I think I got it off Amazon. Did you? Come with two rows of wire and some <laughs> clips. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Solar power dryer. Oh, Lord. Yeah, that's right. I don't think, I, I think she'll like it. I think she will. It's the thought that counts. That's it? all. You know? Of all the people in the world, you're one of them. You know, I accidentally drank a bottle of invisible ink. Had to go to the emergency room. Now I'm just waiting to be seen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry All right. that. Please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> hey, uh, I just always wondered at what point the viewers go, nah. nah. <laughs> <laughs> Click. Y'all please comment and leave us when y'all go, nah. nah.
Oh, na 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 goodbye. You reckon any of them sing that when they click off our channel? <laughs> Yo, you guys stink. <laughs> okay, oh my goodness. This. this is the worst video of YouTube I've ever seen. <laughs> Are y'all still on there? <laughs> We're buying views. Uh, All right. Y'all are really committed. Ain't nobody watching, yeah. but you don't give up. What in the world? Will it not go on the nut? Well, I'm sure right. it will. Yeah. No, that's right. I don't know if Will or not can't get it turned. Yeah. Let's see. Let me retry it. There it is, right there. Yep. Yep, that yeah. felt better. Maybe. Yeah. I see now why you didn't do this one already. Okay. Cordless hanging. Cordless. Get the cordless. Uh, golly. One more time. One more again. I used all my strength on that bottom pan, you know. I'm like the bat, I like battery power, you know what I mean? If I don't get recharged, I, so I guess you're gonna take me to Mexican for lunch or something. I have to tell you about that time I was going to your house and I saw this one-legged hitchhiker. I stopped Old and Sparky I, back. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped and said, "Hop in." Uh, the uh, <laughs> yeah, somebody was talk somebody made a comment about using an insulated handle, you know, so that doesn't happen, you know. And somebody also mentioned something about a metal wedding band and stuff, which are all good comments, yeah. you know what I mean? But I can't count the nine anyway, so if I lost this finger, it really wouldn't be that much of a big deal, would it? So, woo, we ready to start this thing? We ready to fire it up? I got the key in it. I didn't even look. I hope so. Check, you can see from, uh, can I you can't see? I can see from, no, that's a long step, Hank. I know. I ain't doing it. No key. But I've seen a couple of Cabelco machines over there. We'll go borrow one. We'll see if we can borrow one. All right, Wiley, I'll jump up here and see. If... Okay. I think we done scared all the varmints away. Oh, yes. Yeah, they gone north. They gone south. That's good. That's not froze up. How long will it take Hank to find the correct key? <laughs> now that's a key ring there, buddy. All right, let me let me try to see what I'm working with. Show me what you're working with. Let's see. There's cat. There's deer. There's cat. There's deer. Komatsu. I assume KM is Komatsu. Um, that's probably a Case International. Cat, 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 deer. I think sometimes, see if a cat key will work. All right. That one won't. Seems like I got a machine fishing. one time and it had a cat key in it and it wasn't a cat. Must have had a Kubota skid steer or something. Mm. 
find that one that said KM on it. Oh, wait. Oh, look at there. I heard Got it. it. I heard it. I heard it. Contact. How many hours is on this machine? Can I don't. Can you tell? I think it's probably got a uh, manual reader. Um, yeah, no, it's got a digital readout that's broke. Okay. I see they got it set up for seasonal layer. <laughs> I'm gonna bump it. Bump it. Let me take this key off and. Well, easier to maintain. All right. I'm gonna bump it, Wiley. Bump it. Oh, 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 hey. Can you see where that smoke's coming from there? Did it work? No. I mean, oh, no. is it smoking or something? Yeah. What's that? Yes, it was smoking. Hang on. Here's the hour meter. It's, it's a digital display. Hang on. Let me uh, get a better connection here, maybe. All right. Have to go back another way. What in the world did I do with my universal Chris? Oh, there it is. My cordless Chris. Wow. Sparky in the house! Sorry. Why did your friend go to the hospital? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the invisible fire. Get the invisible fire off my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Help me, Tom Cruise. I really don't like that. But it did show fuel, full of fuel. Huh? It did show full of fuel. Okay. That, well, bam, that bam, negative bam, bam, terminal bam, bam, bam. smoking right there. Hit it, huh? That negative terminal smoking. It moking, moking hot, ain't it? That one, yeah. Try that, Hank. All right, hang on. I don't got loosened up. I can climb again. <laughs> All right, Hank, bump it. Okay. <clears throat> no joy. You could see the fan trying to. It was bumping. Wow, that stinks, man. I tell you, we just we got no luck with last two excavators. Yeah, I mean they've been really fun to find. Yeah, you know, and get up under and crawl around and stuff. Cut, it, cut bushes and trees out of it if you like doing that. Yeah, well, it makes for good video. It, I guess so. But so we're not. I mean, we're not going to take the head off this like we no. did that that uh, old Hein Werner. No, we're just not going to do it. So well, uh, that guy wanted that move. So this guy, he don't want to tear all that down. And that's right. Yeah, that's true too. That's a good point. He'll sit here another twenty years unless somebody sells it. Yeah, I mean unless somebody buys it. You know. Yeah. 
So we'll make sure that, like I say, if you want to buy this machine, uh, the undercarriage looks like it's in pretty good shape. Yeah, yeah. Just send me an email, hank at hamiltonvillefarm.com. We'll get that taken care of for you and uh, put you in touch with the owner. Mm -hmm. And it actually, it, it don't, you know, the pins and bushings and all that looks pretty good. It's just this, this engine. And if you got another engine to throw in it, you would probably be in good shape. Well, I mean, or either uh, if you run in one, you need parts. This would yeah, be a good one. I think so too. So hopefully somebody buys it. Yeah. You know, you don't like to see them set out in the woods like this. And yeah, man, you know, people say just that you need to take that home and, you know, use it on your yeah. farm. It would, this would be the perfect it size. Would be. I just ain't, I want one that runs. You reckon that Dodge would pull it on the gooseneck? It might. I yeah. think so. It's only 36,000 pounds. Right, but, oh, yeah. for, uh, it's for farm use on the gooseneck. That's right. <laughs> Put half of it on there. Yeah, I put half of it. And uh, but uh, you know we're we're all about trying to sell stuff, not right. necessarily restore or do it. But if I found one this size that was you know in my price range, I'd love to have it for the farm. Right. But uh, anyway, this one is this one is not not to be as they say. But uh, probably need to close this latch. You got an instruction manual? Yeah, I got it. Just then, I think the thing was holding on. But hey, listen, you guys stick around to the end of the video because I'm actually going to show you, I'm going to preview some videos that are coming up next and kind of give you a sneak peek of what to expect. So make sure you got your notification bell turned on so you don't miss nothing here at Hamiltonville Farm. I'm going to make Wiley buy lunch today. I'm not going to make you do anything. You're a grown man. That's a super sad faced emoji. <laughs> <laughs> are you saying are you saying we're having water and salad that's right that's right so hey th wafers. thanks for watching go check out this preview god bless you guys next on hamiltonville farm appreciate you guys watching the video. Remember there's discount codes in the description box below. We'll see you in the next video. God bless you guys.